Hey, what is going on guys? It is Jaco back again with another video and today we're going to be talking about the top five weapons that I would like to see in GTA Online in these next coming and uh, future updates in GTA Online. If you guys are new to the channel though, please remember to drop a like and subscribe, turn on post notifications because I do post frequent GTA Online funny entertaining videos. This is actually kind of new for me, so uh, let me know how you guys feel about it and also let me know if I should do more top fives or like wishlist type ideas for GTA Online because I feel like I've been playing this game literally since 2013. I got some good ideas uh, just as much as the next person does. So uh, let me know if I should do more of these top fives. I won't spam them out or anything. I'll kind of kind of trinkle them in there with uh, the rest of the GTA Online content that I put out. Coming in at number five, I know we've gotten a lot of these lately. Doomsday Heist have brought two, but uh, a new pistol and that would be the Glock. Now, something cool that you could do with the Glock, it is the Glock from GTA 4, of course, is make it semi-auto as well as full auto. Be able to interchange uh, which you want to use. Like, for example, I think the best way to do it is if you were to open up your weapon wheel and then click, like, maybe a certain button hovering over the weapon, like how you can drop ammo or drop the weapon itself. Uh, just make another button to be able to switch um, whether you want it full auto, semi auto, or a three round burst. I think the Glock would be perfect for it because the Glock in real life, um, it, in my opinion, it's one of my favorite looking handguns in real life and in video games. Every time I see it in a game, like in GTA 4, I really like using it. And in real life, the Glock can come in semi-auto and full automatic forms. So I think it'd be perfect for GTA Online, whether it be semi-auto or full auto. I think if it has to choose one, it should be full auto just so it can kind of, you know, be competitive with the AP pistol, which is probably the best pistol in the game. So that's why I think also coming in with number five kind of as a secondary is having some sort of AP pistol Mark II. It's also one of the most versatile weapons in the game as a pistol. None of the pistols really have the range, the rate of fire, or like the time to kill that the AP pistol has. So I think if you gave it a little bit of a boost, nothing crazy, gave it some of the cool magazines and some of the cool attachments that you can do with Mark II, I think that and the Glock would be a great addition. But of course, um, we might not even ever see the Glock. But if we had to get at least one thing, I would like to see an AP pistol Mark II. I think that'd be the coolest and probably the most friendly for GTA Online right now. The next weapon class of choice that I would like to see some additions to especially is the Assault Rifle class. So coming in at number 4 is the Assault Rifle class with one of the weapons I chose as the M16. Now, just like the Glock, the M16 can come with different variations of rate of fire using 3 round burst, semi auto, full auto. So I think that an M16 with a 3 round burst and full auto and be able to interchange them uh, through the weapon wheel for example or maybe just the ammunition you know you go in there and say hey man i need this in full auto because i can't flick the switch myself because as you guys know probably that it's not a real thing in gta online so who knows if they would even add it whether you could change your rate of fire <laughs> or whatever in guns but the m16 has been seen in screenshots as well as the glock for gta 5 you can see michael holding it and m16 you know <laughs> in the loading screen sometimes and i think it would be really really cool addition um not because it'd be incredibly op but like you know just a new ar because we haven't had a new ar in a very very long time and like i said if it did have to have three round burst or full auto of course i if we had to choose one i would like full auto but three round burst would be pretty cool too don't make it so lame or so slow that it's not usable in gta online of course for all these weapons i want it to be able to be use not like the musket or the marksman pistol like nobody uses those things especially in pvp like i don't i know that all these guns won't be usable in pvp i know that there's pvp guns and fun you know pve guns but um personally i think like any gun for pve is just fun so if rockstar found a way to make a three round burst a thing without it being super super crappy maybe give it a really good rate of fire or something like that just to make it usable in gta online whether it's pvp or pve that would be nice too and maybe some mark ii options as well if it had to be a mark ii option get rid of the like advanced rifle and make it a m16 i don't know or do this same thing with the carbine rifle i don't know 
And the next weapon class I chose is the submachine gun class with two guns. I would like a new two-handed submachine gun. We haven't had a really good one ever. The uh, combat PDW was kind of it, but that with being in the LMG slot, everyone's going to use a combat Mark II every single time for PvP at least. Most submachine guns are not really usable because they're kind of like paintball <laughs> paintball guns or nerf guns. But if you're to make a nice, powerful, two-handed SMG, I would like to see either a P90 or a UMP45. You know, the old classic Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 weapon. Or the P90 just like from GTA 4. Because, you know, you already have it and it was in GTA 4. So it'd be a really, really easy and pretty cool transition to see in GTA 5 Online. And also talking about the submachine gun class, using something like the Uzi or the Tech 9 or something like that, I think it'd be really cool if we had the option to shoot one handed, just like in Max Payne 3. I don't like how we have to use two hands on every single thing. Maybe when we're holding L2 or holding zoom to zoom in the gun, we should use two hands. But if you're just spraying or blindly firing, I like to I would like to use one hand. I know if you're shooting around a corner, blind firing, you do use one hand. I still think and wish that guns could be used one-handed just to make it look cooler or just something like that it's gta you know recoil isn't really much of a thing so you know it really wouldn't matter it would just look cool and it would just be purely for looks so i think some machine guns like uzi and you know tech nine and stuff like that um would be really cool to be able to be used one-handed and as well as some handguns you know coming in at number two guys hear me out we have a lot of these already but it would have to be a melee weapon, like something really cool or really fun. But hear me out, hear me out. We have a lot of one-handed weapons, whether it's knives or wrenches or, you know, hammers or stuff like that. And we don't have a lot of two-handed weapons. We have a lot of two-handed blunt weapons, like a baseball bat, a pool cue, and, you know, there's a couple other things that I can't really think of off the top of my head. A golf club, of course, golf club. But what if we had a two-handed kind of sword katana or like fire axe or something like that i think that'd be really cool as well as a mix of some new animations now if you use something like a knife of course you're going to get kind of like pokey pokey stab animations like you're actually trying to put it inside of them now if you're using something like a wrench you're going to kind of like get some bonk animations on top of their head i know these are really scientific terms i'm using but bear with me so I think of something like the katana or the fire axe or some sort of sword, two-handed, uh, you know, like sword type blade <laughs> weapon will be really cool with especially some new animations, you know, maybe just like kind of like slash at their chest or, you know, something like that. I think that would be really, really cool. And, you know, something we're missing with the melee weapons, even though we do have a lot. And, of course, make it OP. Like, screw it. Make it OP. Of course, anyone could just shoot you if you're running at them with a katana or something like that. But, you know, the stone hatchet is a one-hit kill to literally anything, whether you have armor or max health or whatever. So, you might as well make the new two-handed sword or something like that OP as well. I think that'd be really appropriate, especially with the time in GTA Online. You know, anyone could just pull out a gun and shoot you, so I don't think it would really be that big of a deal and i think it'd be really cool a new sword katana sort of thing with some new animations would look cool let me tell you now before we get into the number one spot that i chose i would like to just mention that mark ii weapons and just regular weapons in general do not have a lot of great customizations especially the vanilla guns that don't have any mark ii options you have an option of like, what, four attachments, a flashlight, extended clip, <laughs> a suppressor, and a grip. Like, I could just name that off the top of my head. Some can get different scopes, some can get like sights and stuff like that. But, you know, off the top of my head, there's literally five vanilla attachments that you can just add on a gun. And it's pretty much the same for the Mark IIs, is, except for just a little bit different variations, like the suppressor. You can get it different sizes, and there's some muzzle brakes and stuff like that. But then again, you have barrels and different magazines and ammo types, which I think is really cool but then again the tints and the camos don't really look all that great some of them especially the colors i think in a perfect perfect world rockstar should implement a sort of call of duty modern warfare gunsmith type thing where you can literally make an m4 look like a completely different gun if when just adding different sort of attachments on it like, for example, you know, an a the AK-47, the regular default assault rifle, does not 
look that good in my opinion i wish you could give it like a wood panel finish just like an ak-47 in gta 4 i think that'd be really cool or make the m4 look more like an m16 give it that three round burst give it that you know m16 sort of body style that it really has in real life Modern Warfare literally did it perfect where you can make your gun behave exactly how you want it with so, so, so many options. I think that'd be perfect for a game like GTA. Um, you know, they have a lot of car customization type options for GTA, you know, correct? But imagine that. Car customization is a Los Santos Customs, but like for guns. I think that would be absolutely spectacular, but I think that's a little far-fetched. And, um, yeah, I don't think that would ever really happen. Maybe G in the next GTA 6 or something like that. Coming in at number one is not really a specific class or type of gun at all. I think that they should add more historic weapons into GTA Online. Like, for example, we have the musket, which isn't usable. But if you could have something like the MP40... The Luger pistol, I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> some, you know, some World War II type guns. Uh, Call of Duty World War II or, you know, uh, Black Ops Zombies, some old-fashioned Black Ops Zombies are two really good examples of what I'm kind of looking for. I think some more historic guns would look really good. Nothing like the Marksman pistol or a musket where it's not usable, you know, but have something fun like an MP40 with a 50-round mag. I think that'd be cool. It's not too far-fetched, and it'd be actually usable as an SMG or an assault rifle wherever you want to put it at and there's a ton of historic weapons that you can actually go off of whether it's lmg assault rifle pistol a submachine gun you know whatever uh but yeah that is my top five things or weapons i should say that i think should be added to gta online as well as some like hands down like super cool los santos custom type customization options for your guns just like in Modern Warfare, you know, I think they did a really good job with the gunsmith option um, in that game and customization. I played a little bit, and I, I do really, really like that part of the game. And I think it's really cool, as well as customizing, you know, the look of your gun, whether it's a camo, tints, or anything like that. It's really, really cool. But, uh, yeah, that was my wish list for weapons in the next coming updates for GTA Online. If you guys want to see more different type of wish list videos, like maybe cars, different game modes, or something like that, like I said at the beginning, you know, I I've played this game for almost seven years now i have a lot of good ideas and you know um with a little bit of a platform i have now uh, 11 000 subscribers thank you guys so much for that we hit that a few days ago yeah it's been but uh yeah thanks again for all the support guys and i appreciate it so much and if you made it all the way through the video let me know about the guns or type of weapons that you would like to see in gta online as well and let me know what you guys think about my list whether you agree with it disagree with it or whatnot and uh let me know what you guys think comment what you guys want to see um i'm really interested thanks again guys for watching if you are new please remember to drop a like and subscribe turn on post notifications and i'll see you guys in the next one peace hey, hey. Sorry for your loss, look at what I bought, paint like Bob Ross, but it's not a draw, when that coin gets tossed.